Welcome back everybody. We are kind of continuing on from the last video where I showed you how to get your 3D print ready for a slicer. Uh, in this one I'm going to show you how to take the model that you already prepped for a 3D slicer and hollow it out so it's ready for a resin printer uh, for the resin printer 3D slicer. Okay. So it's actually really not that hard. I actually use Mesh Mixer to start the process and then I finish it up over in ZBrush. So let's head over to Mesh Mixer where I have the model that we did in the last video where we got it all ready and there's no errors, no, it's no manifold edges, nothing. It's one solid mesh ready to go. So now what we're going to do in here is we're going to actually click on the Edit tab and we're going to do hollow and let it run through its process here. Basically what I do in here is I just hollow it out. I don't actually put the I don't actually generate the holes. Okay? Um couple reasons. I really just one reason. I mean, the very first time I tried this, it crashed. I was like, "Okay, there's something that I don't like about this so we have to fix that so we're not even going to use any holes at all in here we're just going to make that little inner shell in there and we're going to hollow this thing out now the size wise um, it's kind of it's kind of a small model so it doesn't really need a whole lot of hollowing out but if you're getting into like larger models uh, you know that are like six 12 inches tall you definitely want to hollow it out or you're going to spend a lot of money on resin. So um, you can change the distance, the wall thickness. Usually I was running at about 1.5. Seemed to work okay. And then I just uh, update hollow. It'll recalculate it real quick. And we can kind of get a, a quick preview of what's going on on the inside. So yeah, you can see it pretty much just hollowed out the base and hollowed out part of the upper torso, which is just fine. So I am going to go ahead and click accept. You know, like I said, we're not doing the holes in here, but you can actually just click on the model and it'll generate a hole right there. But we're going to do a little more precision work inside of ZBrush. So I'm going to go ahead and export. I am going to save it as OBJ demo we'll give it a little underscore here hollow just so I know what I'm working with definitely want to make sure you have a good naming convention for everything because if you're working on you know dozens of uh, 3d miniatures like I do you definitely have to have a good naming convention so like part numbers and this and that so uh, the saving inside a, a mesh mixer is very slow, at least when it comes to OBJs. It saves out STLs real fast, but OBJs, it takes a while. So we'll just let it percolate there for a second. Okay, it's done. Now we can go back into ZBrush here. I'm going to turn off this and go up to my demo model here. I can turn off that base there. That's what it'll eventually look like anyways. When it's all put together all uh, right so we have to import that one that we just did import and where am i desktop all right demo hollow okay don't really see a whole lot of difference here but if you select say like this little piece here i know there's not any hollow in here do a control shift a and then reverse the selection there you go now you can see the the hollowed out parts of your model or where it's going to be hollowed anyways but we still have to punch some holes in there so i've already got this set up into a folder system here so that comes in kind of handy so what I, all i want to do is just do insert we'll just insert a cylinder here okay it comes in itty bitty because of our scale but that's okay, I'm not too worried about that. Okay, so I wanna punch in a couple holes here. I wanna punch in down here. 
zoom in. I'm going to scale him up a little bit here. This is where our little magnet will go into. So I'm going to punch a hole right there. I just have to make sure it penetrates. And let's see. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate. Just do, if you hold down control and then move a direction, it'll create a duplicate of it. I'm going to rotate him. Oops. Didn't quite get it set just right. 90. There we go. That's what I was looking for. I'm going to bring him up. I may scale it down just a little bit. Make sure it's penetrated in there. Get it out as far as I can. Okay. Zoom out. And like I said, with uh, this particular model, we probably don't need really even that body. We really don't need to have it hollowed. I don't think it's going to save us a whole lot of resin. So I'll probably just end up deleting that. So, okay. So I've got our cutters here, and I'm going to go ahead and do just a mirror and weld on the X. There we go. That's the setup I already have. Let's go back up to my hollow here. I'm going to go ahead and with this one, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that. I'm going to isolate it by itself and then reverse the selection and delete hidden. Okay. Now this is just like a simple example here, but you can punch holes all over this place. You know, just depending on the size, you can go in and hide things. I know on a jumbo version of this, I hid uh, like a hole inside the exhaust right here. You know, I punched a hole like right up in here and a couple different spots just to keep the resin, give the resin an ability to drain out and you're not spending a, a ton of money on, you know, wasted resin. So... We've got him set up, so go ahead and s turn on start, since I already have him in a folder, and then we're going to turn on negative for these little guys down here, and you've come up to live boolean, boolean, one of these years I'll say that correctly, and as you can see, we've made our cuts into the hollow, and all you have to do now is just go ahead and do boolean folder and it'll process and it will spit out a perfectly hollow to mesh for you here it is here I'm gonna go as solo just make sure I'm working on the right one as you can see it hollowed it out or well we helped hollow it out and the reason I like using ZBrush in this case is just super precise and I can put holes anywhere I want, you know, and I can change the shape of the holes. It doesn't have to be a cylinder. It could be a, a, a rectangle, a triangle, whatever mesh you want to make a hole. This way you can kind of incorporate it into the design of the model and kind of hide it, you know, because... I, I don't know about you, I don't want to see all these holes on these models, but if I can hide it somehow, it's a pretty cool deal. So, like we did in the previous video, I just want to kind of select a little corner there, Control shift a So, hit Delete Hidden, okay, Close, Holes, and Fix Mesh. Okay. Let's capture another little point. Delete hidden and close. Fix mesh. Yeah. So we'll see if it's resolved itself. If not, we'll just take it back in the mesh mixer. Yep, okay. Let's clean it up. I think we're good now. We're going to export. I'm just going to save over that hollow now. Save. Yes. And back to hollow, back to mesh mixer here, replace it. Okay. 
as you can see it's all got nicely resolved there and we're going to analyze it once and one more time just to be sure okay there's a couple of little issues here and there do auto repair and all this I kind of went over in the last video to show you how to repair it now we can go ahead and just export we're going to save it as a binary STL I'm going to copy this real quick and save it and there you go that is basically how you uh, hollow out a mesh using mesh mixer and zbrush there is a way that you could do it solely in zbrush but it just seems so i don't know it just seems so counterintuitive and it i just don't like how it works so it it you have to dynamesh it with a cylinder in there and then it's all a dynamesh uh, quadded up mesh you know so sometimes you lose some of the detail and I, I just didn't care for it so I kind of did this where I blended them both together so but that's basically how you do that inside ZBrush and mesh mixer it's really not that complicated so now you can hollow it out save a little resin and enjoy your wonderful 3d print from your 3d printer Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We will catch you in the next one. And I hope you guys have a great day. We'll catch you later.